Murakanza neza Kigali. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that again. Today's vlog is a girl's trip to Rwanda, Kigali. This is Africa's cleanest and safest country. I was shocked. We're gonna Masuda Danu from Benin Republic. I'm Rabel, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Benin Republic and I'm with her. Yes, we are vlogging today that. and we are going to discover the convention center. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Merci. 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 <laughs> oh, what did you order? Oh, yeah. it looks <laughs> Look at her style from the street Look at her style from the ghetto This I will never make it big Me, I tell them say, I don't know Look at me, I style from the street Look at me, I style from the ghetto This I will never make it big me I am gonna be exploring the luxury lodge, places to stay, places to eat, nightlife, day party, amazing vibes, amazing positive vibes. Let's get it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying these travel vlogs. There's more Rwanda vlogs coming up. Let's get it. I can subscribe. So, guys, we're going for dinner. We're going to Soy Asia. Let's go. So, guys, you have to wear these helmets when you're here. Yeah. Hey, okay, it's up. I've been going through it. I done seen a lot, been feeling stuck. And I got most of the things I've always ever wanted. I've been lied to. Yeah, ain't gonna lie, cause I've been lying to. To myself, I'm only human. I've seen hope. I've been up and down and learning how to cope. Not showing the ropes. I've been down and out until I learned to float. And I've seen pride too. Yeah, ain't gonna lie, man, I've been prideful. But barely proud enough to show it, uh, growing through it. My homies used to be so close that if you got into it, multiplication is being thrown all the hands in. Never had questions, couldn't be answered. Had lifelines, thought we'd be millionaires in this lifetime. But white lines at nighttime tried to demolish it. I thought that they moved smarter, but wanted faster accomplishments. Cause blue collar plus college is total opposite of blue dollars and popping bottles for moving pounds and shit. The chosen ones. So, guys, we're at Soy, finally. Let's go. <laughs> Uganda is so bougie. You have to. <laughs> I hope we go sit to check a bit and see what upstairs looks like. And we all thought it'd be us. I heard about the friends you lose just after high school be up. But this is teen shit, the people I trust and people I dream with. Who would have thought that growing up meant only chasing green shit, the demons? 
they be on a different type of time I just ran into homie, told he wish he had a life like mine He just got out of county with a plan, he said trap or die My only wish is that you go legit after you get the shine It's up, I've been going through it, I done seen a lot, been feeling stuck And I got most of the things I've always ever wanted I've been lied to, yeah Ain't gonna lie cause I've been lying to To myself, I'm only human, I've seen hope I've been up and down Did you see that? Ropes. I've been down and out until I learned to float and I see pride too Yeah, ain't gonna lie man, I've been prideful But barely proud enough to show it Steamed rice, shaking beef, a drought small glass of muzinga, local beer And then a green papaya salad with uh, salmon, spicy Thai salmon and also what else uh kahua shot because my friend she wanted to make a baby guineas so it consists of shots kalua shot uh what else baileys a shot of baileys and guineas yes that's all oh uh, yeah i think i'm gonna be doing baby baileys from nines for but i'm not a fan of baileys so i may pass but i love guineas like there's this another thing a guineas glass of guineas and a, gla a small quarter glass of coca-cola it's also delicious anyway tell me so this uh, shaking beef it was the best beef i've ever had the local beer was just a uh, no uh the steamy rice was so delicious it was so so good we shared the steamy rice between us and the shaking beef like i love going to restaurants where we can order different menu and tom yum soup different menu and then like we share each size of our menu it was so good i will rate soy asia <laughs> nine over ten like oh the one once oh i don't know like uh, the price is also good actually the price is not bad because my bill was i think everything i ordered was like i don't know like it was really uh uh it was not expensive like inca steakhouse it's uh you can get meals from 26 dollars and above yeah so it's a good like the steamy rice was like four dollars the salad was like the papaya salad was like seven dollars or something and everything was so fresh this salad was so so good guys we are sharing our meals i love a friend who we can go and order things and then we can like share within each other and i love that and yeah guys let's try a chopstick because why not why not that shaky beef was everything it had all the spices it was flavorful it was fresh it was organic one thing about rwanda their food is very very organic so asia is like i can rate it a, like fine dining to me it's a fine dining and i love the stick rice the stick rice was so 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 good everything was 10 over 10 and yeah the drinks were actually i wanted a cocktail but they were super expensive they were the same price as a meal so that's why i opted for local beer and you know i'm in guys this is my first time tasting salmon Yeah, that's our bill. That's how we ended up spending how much. I think we spent like seventy dollars in total for all the things that our uh, order. So yeah, guys. Real? Yeah. Guys, we just finished, <laughs> and it's how can you rate it? Me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, the me only too. reason I didn't give them 10 is because I didn't know how to make a good baby dinner. Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> pass here so, often. Guys, we've finished. Oh, there's one. one. No. We've finished. Yeah. Yes, we've finished now. I can rate it 9.5. I liked everything. Okay, guys, we're going home now.
Mm -hmm. I was trying to go live, but I'll go later. Just showered. We're just back from soy. What is it called? Soy Thai. Let me see. That is the best food I have ever, ever freaking ate. I tried to do a live, but we'll we'll do it in the next place I'm staying because I'm checking out tomorrow here because. This, this was not the original place. I'm showing you places to stay. So I need to stay in those places and places to eat. That's the theme of this vlog, Rwanda vlog. Guys. Anyway. I was trying to do a live of my first impression of Uganda. But we're going to do it in the next place. So we've just ate at soy. Let me see. The food was delicious. So we went at Soy Asian Table. It has Thai and Chinese inspired dishes. Of course, I'm gonna link everything linkable on the description down box down below so it can be easier for you when you want to come to Rwanda and you want to try the things that I've done. But anyway, nobody was gonna tell me. Nobody was gonna tell me like there's a time difference between a Robi and Kigali like one hour time difference like we are uh, like uh, Kigali is one hour behind uh, because now it's 22.19 but in Nairobi it's actually 23.19 that's me I did not know I completely did not know at all at all so I am shocked another thing about you uh, Kigali, you'll think that people are really off standish, offish, but they are nonchalant, I can say. But I feel like it's the barrier of language. Like, I feel like they they don't, they, they talk French, right? They do talk French and Kenya, Kenya Rwanda. And people think I'm Kenya Rwanda actually. They're talking to me with Rwandese. And I have to tell them, no, I'm Kenyan. No Kenya, no, no Rwandese, no French. No, I don't know no French. Anyway, get a SIM card if you want to use services like Yego card. Yego is the equivalent to Uber because there's no Uber here. And then Vumba, Vumba is the equivalent to Uber Eats. And both of them just get a SIM card. I try to get a SIM card, but I... I have to have my passport, like original passport, so I have to work with my passport tomorrow to get a SIM card so that I can be connected. Because another thing about Kigali that I'm so surprised, like people don't know direction, it's their own country, like you have to show them exactly, even if you tell them the street number, like even the house number, because they are written really well, like the streets of Kigali, it's so freaking clean. The hair is clean, like everything. Like, do you know, like every, like, I don't know if it's like every end of Saturday or something, even the president, the, clean, the president and the wife and the kids of Kigali, or president of Kigali, they go clean the streets. Like it's the, and it's so clean guys I don't know if you can tell you there's even street numbers like the speed limit is 60 guys and oh I was telling you what so the water guy made me late today for for the the cooking class with the Randy's local food cooking class because I asked him I was actually pissed but I decided to handle the situation the way it was giving me and learn from it so the border and i'll tell you the uh how, how it went like the border guy i asked him because i tried to order uh from the year go up actually you can also call it so that's why you need a sim card and run this sim card so that you can go places easily and also you can like be calling like places so that they can give direction to the border guy because they talk in kenya rwanda and then they, that's when they understand where the place is because they don't follow the street number because where I stay is like KG603 or something. I'll link everything on the description down below. So they are like, uh, do you know Nyamurimbo? Where's the place? Nyamurimbo Women's, whatever. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I know. I asked him how much. Why do people 
try to overcharge like foreigners because they're treating me as a foreigner. I feel like I am one of them because I'm East African, but they're treating me as a foreigner. Tell me why I even pay 25,000 randis franc. That's like $25 for the cooking class. It's okay. Uh, it all goes to supporting the women, right? And, but I felt it was a little bit too much, <laughs> but it's okay because we didn't even... Uh, and it ended up like with packed food because there was a lot of food but they didn't offer the opportunity to, to, for us to take the food back home so that I can eat it because it's a lot of food and I could eat it like really good because I was tired. Anyway, that's the end of the point. So he need, I, she, he made me lost because he said yes, he knows the place. Then he, we got lost. After getting lost, he doesn't like talk fully English, which which is understandable. But again, it makes like foreigners coming here a little bit hard to to communicate because they are talking in I don't know like French and Kenya Rwanda, and it's so even in like touristic like places they're talking like that. So I think I was something. Okay, yeah. So. It was like that, and I ended up like being late. I hate being late. I hate it being late, but thank God I was just right on time. But uh, one thing I liked about him, he, he offered to help even though we didn't understand each other's language. He was, I told him, okay, let's, let me go and take a SIM card so that I can buy like data and I can Google it and then we, uh, I can show you like the direction while fo following the Google map. So I went to the hotel shop. I couldn't get an uh, name because I didn't have my passport. And I didn't want to get a SIM card because I'm just staying here for not a whole month. So I feel like it's a waste of whatever. But I ended up doing that. I will end up doing it. I'll go tomorrow and do it because I'm tired of giving directions. Anyway, uh, I think, I don't know where he got the smartphone. I think someone gave him the smartphone because he didn't even have a smartphone so that we can negotiate, we can navigate because I was willing to buy data to his phone if he had a smartphone and just use his phone for Google Maps because he, he already have a SIM card, uh, run this MTN SIM card. Anyway, that's beyond the topic. So that happened and... Um, he was not like he they are f so chill like they're so like these people are so completely different f to kenyans and so different to ugandans so far ugandan people are my favorite people like i see myself m moving to uganda <laughs> yeah rwanda is nice it's clean it's very clean and it's very organized but i feel like they don't how can they? They're not hungry. Like they're not hungry, and I am hungry for for the world. I'm hungry for more information, for more connection, for more. and they stare a lot. St stare, yeah, they stare a lot, and they don't have like, um, how can I say? They like you'll give someone your phone to put something for you, and they'll keep on like scrolling. I've found so many do that like they'll scroll on your phone or if you're scrolling on your phone they're like uh snooping which is kind of weird because they don't i feel like they're very curious and standoffish i don't think even it's a language barrier no they are standoffish <laughs> so comment down below if you think i'm lying but most of them today is friday the place where i'm staying is so comfortable but they, I'm staying like right, there's a restaurant like next to our neighbor, like the next gate is called Inca Steakhouse, child. It was so expensive. It was very expensive. But I feel like it's because uh, this area, like this street, there's a lot of UN, like United, like this United Nations organization and like, there's a lot of diplomats on this road, so I think that's why, because it was so expensive, but it was so nice and so cute, so I, if I was staying more here, I'll go and check it out, 
but I have so many like I said like okay everyone is talking about uh soy let me try soy first anyway guys good night and see you tomorrow tomorrow we're checking out here and going to another airbnb which is much because i feel like this one is like 16 minutes away from the center and there's no like hmm. yeah there's no like because i asked if there's local food but they said there's no anyway good night and talk to you later talk to you tomorrow So guys, I'm checking out today. I'm gonna go to another Airbnb. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors Pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the same the neighborhood like This is the neighborhood This is the dog bag, Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't this tell at the time But it was my own soulmate it's, it's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way oh Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate you couldn't see everything is safe. To be honest, guys, like if you can afford hotels, I'll only say book hotels than Airbnbs because in an Airbnbs, I don't know, you feel like abandoned. <laughs> I wasn't afraid to say, yeah. If I gotta choose me. I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going I'm going back to who I was before I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours I like me better, I like me better yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, I have checked in on my second Airbnb This was the initially Airbnb that I wanted to book But by the time I wanted to book, it was already booked for two nights So I had to Book at the previous Airbnb that you saw me in. This one is located in Kaisiru and it's near almost. Okay, we'll find out, but I booked it because it's near everything. Let's find out if it's actually true because I want to go to the Gali Convention Center and the genocide or something. So we'll see how near it is. Already there. Okay, so this is how it is. I've checked in. This is the house. Now let's start from the gate. Let's go from the gate. So that's the gate, and you can see the view, the view of Kigali. So this is, the dogs are friendly, so don't fear the dogs. So actually this is my room. This is actually my room here. And then this is how the house looks. So when you enter, it's going to give you, oh, see, it's a small puppy. Hi. They are well trained. So when you enter like this, this is the main like living room area. And when you go like this, this is another living room area. I think it's one thing I've noticed they don't have TV anyway. So this is the like kitchen. This is the kitchen. And the one thing about Rwanda and Uganda Airbnbs, they give you like free water. So it's like filtered water, filtered water. So you put like tap water here and then it, there's some um, filtration going on here. So yeah, so that's a plus. No more buying water. And you can drink as much as you want. Then you can go like this. This is the toilet. 
This is the actual toilet. The water is always hot. So it's clean. It's very, 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 very clean. Safe. And every every Airbnb I've seen uh, this filtering water. Then the toilet. Then from the bathroom, this you can also like that's the main door. Then you come here. This is where the young. It's the room I booked. And let me tell you. Room and that's the bathroom. So it's like near bathroom and shower, toilet and bathroom and shower. And then this is like a deco. So I have access to everything. This is just of the door. This cute thing. It's a stone actually. Now actually let's test the bed. The bed is so comfortable. It's hard the way I just like it. This is a mosquito net. And actually I didn't know like this bed is so comfy guys it's it's it like I love this place already but let's not be quick to judge it let's wait until tomorrow and see well let's wait until tomorrow and see the outcome if we really really like it because it's after you sleep that you know so today's activity oh how much am I paying on this I'm paying fifteen dollars per night and one thing i've noticed about kigali my first impression is uh they keep water uh, for free which is very very like helpful for a traveler because it's not sometimes you will arrive late in a airbnb you'll check in late or you'll check in because you're tired you don't have time to go yet to do like groceries and then you are you are like you need water, so it's water is provided every single day that you you are in your stay. So that's a good thing. So I wanted to say also another thing I've noticed. Okay, let me let me report this driver. This driver is very crazy. You people say like Kenyans, you are very like uh, uh, we are very money minded, but at least we we do we do it like like see. I booked with this but it's saying like it's cancelled he knew he knew because he overcharged me he overcharged me the uber uber was saying from from inca steakhouse because my airbnb is just the gate next door from inca steakhouse to here kaisuru because i'm actually in this location called i think i'm in kg 571 street Yes, Kigali, Rwanda. From KG605 to KG571, it was 3000 But it's saying here that, I, that the driver cancelled. And I came with this driver. He knew because he knew I'm going to report him. Because how can he charge me this much? Like he charged me 7,000 Rwandese francs. And it was supposed to be 3,000 Rwandese francs. So, like he charged me... 400 extra like no offense but the people who i've dealt with and mostly foreigners when or visitors when they come to rwanda they're gonna deal with the taxi people the border the motorcycle guys and the hosts you know so i feel like they're very tricky and they i don't know like there's I, i'm just done with these people and when i'm talking about my first impression is the people that i'm dealing with and of course visitors are not gonna deal directly with the like the like normal citizens of rwanda oh, no you're gonna deal with the the first impression i'm gonna deal with the taxi guy with people who provide service and all the people who are providing service so far i feel like they're conning me they, i'm being scammed day in day out i'm being scammed because it's not even a, a far away drive. It's only like a five or six, eight minutes drive.
it's okay. I don't even think there's need to 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 buy even these things. Let me just be beginning on my own end at asking. I'm so fucking tired. This ego or this app is not even doing anything. Like I'm I'm fucking disgusted by the service people of Rwanda. How can you scam people in broad daylight? I've had it. Anyway, let's continue. This part is so comfortable. Today, the, like today's schedule is um, city, the city tour, exchanging money, getting SIM I don't think I want to get a SIM card, actually. There's no need. I'm here maybe four nights. Four nights. I don't think I should get a SIM card. Get SIM card. Visit the Gali genocide. Yeah, so today I'm going to be going to visit... Uh, we're going to visit Kigali Genocide Memorial, then Kigali Convention Center, then lunch, then nightlife. That's the to-do list. But actually, and then another thing is they all don't know direction. Like this is this is now this is your country. You should know the streets by now, or use your Google Map. You it's exhausting because the streets are easily labeled. Like I've not I've not seen an African country yet from the countries I've visited is like it's easily labeled even the local neighborhood like the, it's easily labeled you've seen it guys it's easily labeled like the KG like it's there it's written but they still want to ask you like for directions so download your google maps because don't trust the taxi driver don't trust anyone to know the directions they're always confused even like even if you give them landmarks they still are confusing like is this is this normal this is your this is your job you should know your country you should know every street or at least use know how to use google map so because oh, this is so offish like rwanda one thing about rwanda my first impression is very, very clean. Even like the house, even all the Airbnbs, it's very sparkling clean. There's hot water, like it's uh, like that is a plus. But this other thing, like dealing with like the local people who give you service, is just disheartening. Like, like, I don't know, like I feel like offended. Like if you have, what am I saying? Like if you have like enough money, just stay in a hotel. Because in this vlog, mainly purpose is to show you places to eat and places to stay and how to get around. For me, I feel like if you're staying in a hotel, you're better, you better have chances because you can, the people at the hotel, I feel like they know, they understand English, like the 2000 hotel, they understand English and you can just ask the butler or what do, are they called the the butler and the people at the reception to ask like for direction because this is okay let me not just like and then that the other thing for yesterday is the day at Nyamiram Boyman Center. It was really it was really a nice experience especially for someone who does not know at all East African local food. It's a really good experience. I went there just to show you guys and because my videos are more of a cooking, like I'm a more of a cooking channel, like exploring culture and cooking. There were so many foreigners there. And then what, what else do I want to tell you? There are so many foreigners that they asked me, they asked me, like, I feel like if I'm a resident, even like in Kenya, like there's different prices for resident and residents. And I feel... East Africans, all East Africans will belong to the resident category. So I feel like I shouldn't have paid the 25,000 Rwandese franc, like like the white, the foreigners. But it's expensive. It was expensive. But I said, okay. It's like going for in a restaurant. Like, I don't know. I don't want even to say, but it's a really good experience. The women are really nice but i feel like they should like have east african prizes and foreigners prizes there's a reason why we're in east african community to make to make diplomatic more easier anyway let me let me we'll talk later let me rest 
have to edit the Uganda vlog, I haven't edited. And then another thing is, uh, the reason why I'm telling you, like the checkouts for Airbnb, that's like eating people's money. Like, I don't know, like checking in, it's 3 p.m., okay? Checking in is after 3 p.m., that's what they say. And then checking out, it's before 10 a.m. Okay, it's not all Airbnbs, but the other one, the Buji, like, how can I say it in a nice way? My first Airbnb in Rwanda before I came here, like, I felt like, almost like kicked out because he had said on the site, like, uh, they tried to accommodate every traveler's uh, travel plan. So I was like, I need, because I was checking here at 3 p.m. So I was like, if I check out there at 10, where am I going with the bags? Because he told me, like, I will, I will have to check out even the bags by that time. So I feel like Uganda is giving everything, like, apart from Kenya, like, I feel like Uganda is the place to go. I'm sorry, but Rwanda, it's clean, it's nice, but I travel for people and the culture, and I feel this, these people are so offish. I'm sorry, they're so offish. Anyway, talk to you later. Talk to you when we are going to the genocide. Yeah, that's where we are going. We are going to Kigali Genocide Memorial. Three. Three. Guys, I'm at the Kigali Genocide Memorial. They give you this listening uh, audio so that you can listen at every stage. And at the burial, you're not allowed to video, so I won't vlog so much. Food. What's that? You know that? If you put in the internet, you can see. What is this place called?
So guys, we are here at the No Cafe Zone. They have so many African food, so many restaurants. I feel like I'm in Portugal. Please, please, we'll start this again. <laughs> Here we come, semi love cat diet. We have uh, eight steps to drink. We have uh, eight steps. Of no, no, no. Tea. I just need you to say I'm Papa Kigan. Yeah, okay. You get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm father of city. I'm waiting for semi love cat diet. In semi love cat diet, no service, no pay. We have all the good service, uh, everything is good. <laughs> In Shami Love Katai, no good service, no pay. Papa Kigali. So, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. See? No, no. The ginger like tea? We like the different black tea and the ginger tea and ginger with tea. It's different. So, black tea, ginger tea, and what's the next one? Ginger with tea. What's the ginger one? Ginger with tea. Who's that? Alright, give us a Can I get a ginger tea, please? Ginger tea. Ginger. Ginger tea. Do you have a menu? So, hi guys. Ginger tea. Honor ginger. Do you have a menu? Me, I mean you. So, hi guys. Here is the menu. Just from the Kigali genocide. But just from. The Kigali Genocide Memorial, and now we are in a mm -hmm. place where they sell African food. It's called uh, Free No Free Car Free Zone, Car -free zone. <laughs> and we're just ordering food here. Guys, this place looks like Portugal. I've not been in Portugal, but I've watched videos from Portugal. Like Kigali is so beautiful, guys. No sugar. Yeah. This is my this passion. Only passion. That's my passion. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is passion? Yes, passion. Then, right, so this is we, yours. We went together. Oh, together. there were two passions. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So you can have your spread. No, no, don't drink it yet. Yeah. Oh, it's so. So guys, I'm having fresh passion. Of all the places I've been, I think I love this the most. For Rwanda? Yes, of all the places I've been in Rwanda, like this one. Is this? Yeah, oh. this is like feels more <laughs> Rwandese. <laughs> C'est pas c'est pas tombé dans les oreilles d'un coup hein. Elle a dit te payer la moitié. C'est pour c'est pour ici là, c'est toi qui es ingénieur en intelligence artificielle. Oui. So fresh. Oui, this is good. I haven't tasted it. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. It's fresh. This is mom. Okay, thank you. So we are drinking chin chin. Euro. Cheers. Cheers. Sukigali. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a lot of food. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Yeah, there is, there is two. There is two. No, two chapati. No, one. Three. What did you say your restaurant is called? Yeah. Kata. Sorry, Shami Love Kata. Okay. Yeah. Where is it? Me, I'm part of it. <laughs> Papa, Papa Kigali. Papa Kigali. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who wants to kill. You carry him? You carry him? You carry him. Welcome to Papa Chigali. Okay, you carry him from Papa Chigali. Okay, you carry him from Papa Chigali. Okay, you carry him from the city. Yeah, yeah welcome to yes. Chigali. How did you say that? What's welcome to all the city. Yeah, welcome to yes. Chigali. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Mura Kanalesa. Mura Kanalesa. Make a video. Right. <laughs> 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 Tu as pris la vidéo Non, je ne peux pas, je n'avais pas, pas Allez, du bon côté. Monsieur Albert Non, non, on va descendre. Ok. Descendez, vous tournez après, je vais... So guys, I'm the Kigali Conventional Center. Hi. Shout out your name. Okay, my name is Mirabel. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Benin Republic and I'm with her. Yes, we are vlogging today and we are going to discover the convention center. Yay! <laughs> So guys, here's the professional center. Made it. The referee's decided not enough, so don't use the card. I like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going. I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah. I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours. I 
I gave you all that you asked of me You like the view from behind but you won't make an ass of me That's why I'm saying goodbye Hopping out my feelings, get to the money Gotta keep it a hundred Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me So don't come looking for me I'm that bitch and I have it You forgot but I have it You was just a no habit So I'ma disappear like magic I'm that bitch and I have it You forgot but I have it Now you wish that you had it But all I gotta say back Shout out to yourself on my channel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is the best yeah, spot. Yeah. Okay, give me the phone. I yeah. put flash flashlight on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. You shout out your like your contacts and what you do. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Hi guys. Oh. I'm with <laughs> Masood Adanu from Benin Republic, tour operator, uh, women is BJ on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. So just check us out. Yeah. And I've been having a great day with Yamoto. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was the goal, you yes, know, to yeah. make you So for every detail it will be on the screen and the link down below. Okay, which trust do you do? Sorry? Which trust do you do? Especially this one in Kigali. I work countries. Okay, okay, yeah. so I should tell, okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. basically, we operate in West Africa, you know, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Gambia, and then um, on East Africa, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya for now. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be going next in October to South Africa. You guys should sign up and yeah. join us. So if you want an organized trip in Africa generally, contact Le. The oh, tourist that BJ. The tourist, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that been yeah. amazing. I can see the, pre the president. The president, like. Neza Kigali. <laughs> if I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. When I love you, I lose me. No, I can't be attached to you. just finished taking a shower oh it's so bright i'm from the car free what's the place called that place is lit guys they have really nice food go there i'll leave the number for for the guy you can call him so that he can tell the motorbike directions if you're going with motorbike or the taxi driver directions because Kigali people I, they don't know like they don't know how to follow the the streets the streets even if you have the exact street and the exact name probably they won't know because I think they are more they know Kenya Rwanda I'm sorry if I'm saying wrong yeah it's called car free zone you just call him it's called Baba Kigali that's what he said his nickname is so I've showered, it's like 21, 9, 9 p.m. And Judy and her friends, her team, they're going to be calling me so that I know where they're going because today is Saturday and we want to, we want to try the Kigali nightlife. Yes, let me see. So we want to try the Kigali nightlife and I'm going to join them. Uh, yeah, because my accommodation and their accommodation is it's differently. I'm staying in Kaisuri. Yeah, just past the mini, mini gray. Something, everything, every detail will be on the description box below. So, we'll let you know. We're just from the, we did genocide today, genocide memorial, Akigali convention center. I'm so exhausted, so we decided to come back to the to to eat like to the room and clean up and prepare like I don't know like I'm editing also the Uganda vlog that's why I've been having so much fun that guys I forgot <laughs> okay not that I forgot like I'm having so much fun that I don't know like it's taking time so I've just showered and I'm gonna apply. I'm thinking should I wear makeup or not? But yeah, this is where I'm gonna be 
I'm thinking not to wear makeup just in case. I feel like oh no, they won't change their like they are hardcore. Judy is a hardcore traveler actually. So let me just use my this is stretch annoying because Torino has really saved saved me, saved my skin, my upper pigmentation. So I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup and I carried makeup and wondering why did I even carry makeup guys? Why? Hey guys, comment down below. Do you prefer comment down below? Do you prefer when you're traveling accommodation? Uh, do you prefer um, Airbnbs or do you prefer hotels or resorts? To be honest, I'm just doing like I'm just doing sorry guys. I'm just doing Airbnb to save on the cost, like traveling cost. Uh, there's nothing wrong, like the places I've been sleeping, they have been perfect. Like the beds are comfortable, like just share a sharing. Like maybe next time, I've never like shared a, like a room, not a room, like a, a house. Like it's always been like studio or apartment. So I feel like next time I'm booking Airbnb, it's not that I'm uncomfortable, but I don't know how to say it. Like, I feel like they are strangers and they are mostly white. I did not know there are so many white. Like, every Airbnb I've chose, my roommates have been white people, like Caucasian people. So, like, yeah. I'm not gonna do uh, the gorilla trekking because, child, it's like 600, like, I don't know, it's 1200 dollars per person and I think for president it's something cheaper but I'm not gonna try that not because I don't want to but I can't see myself spending that money to see the gorillas for now I'm just drinking water hydrating Actually, honestly, even if I go out, I don't think I'm gonna get like drunk, drunk. I'm just gonna go out and taste a beer. I'm on this adventure of trying every beer, local beer of every country I'm visiting. So I'm gonna try that today and see. Guys, the genocide thing really took me. Like, it's something I said. In this, I was like my first impressions of Randy's people. I'm thinking, should I just, when I'm editing, should I cut them out? Or but those were just my first impressions. And then everyone in Rwanda, they approached me. They talk Kenya Rwanda. I hope I'm saying it right, like their local language. They think I'm like Rwandese, and that's humble. That's humble. Like that makes me feel like, wow. I'm one of them, you know, like they're saying, like, they'll approach me and then I'll have to tell them, oh, no, I, don't, I speak English or Swahili. And they're like, yeah, Swahili, small, small, English, small, small, and then, uh, yeah. So that's what it is. Like, they think I'm Randy's too, so that means I'm cute. Because to me, Randy's like, Especially the men, they are so handsome, like they are so attractive. Especially the guy at the immigration, like his facial features are so attractive. The guy at the immigration. So yeah, after the genocide memorial, I cried. Like I was like, wow, like if you're ever in, in Kigali, Rwanda, please go. Just go. I share some parts of it so that you can see, but it's so deep and it's so like traumatizing. Like I can't believe, like because I remember when I was in, like I remember, like in my class there were some like Rwandese people, Burundi refugees, like studying, we were studying together, and they were always so so quiet, so reserved. So, like, not trusting anyone around them. And right now, I see it. And I'm actually so happy I went to the 
What is this place? I need to say this place. I'm so happy I went to the car free zone today because that there there were so many local randies and they seemed so happy. Like that's where I could see their laughter, their mingling with each other, they are cool, they are vibing. Because before that, uh, there were always like in other places they were like mm, they were like what I say? Like you could feel like they don't trust you. But now I get it. Like after going to the museum and seeing the band. I have seen like the Hotel Rwanda but the that doesn't even describe the depth of what the Rwandese people really went through. But it's so heartbreaking, heart wrenching. But those are just my first uh, impressions of Rwanda. And actually, at the car free, well, at the at the car free zone, I was like. Uh, taking a video and then a police like someone on uniform tapped me like really politely like you have to delete that video that you just took oh, and, they, and they said oh my god I'm getting arrested no way I'm getting arrested in this country and I was like but he was so polite I think he was a policeman and actually he stood there and politely told me, you have to delete this video. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to delete it. I, I was just taking to show people, like, where to come and eat. Like, I'm doing things to do in Rwanda. I didn't know it's an offense to take a video. And he was like, no, 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 it's not a, an offense. Do you talk so highly? And I said, yes. And he told me, like, no, the only reason he's telling me to delete is because he... He appears there and he's a uh, his police alleged of uh, not allegedly obviously. So I respect people's culture and rules and regulation and I don't want to get arrested in a foreign country. Knock knock knock. Okay anyway guys. So if it was in Nairobi they would be harshly harassed me like a mere security. This one on that CD like Oh no, this one was uh, like police, police regarding the car free zone. And they told me politely. So, yeah. Apart from the taxi people and the motorcycle people. And, yeah. Let's see what Kigali has to offer. I'm gonna try and edit the Uganda vlog. And we'll see. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell, but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate it's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way And now I'm free, you gotta celebrate You couldn't see everything and stay Glad that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I wasn't yours I'm going back, I'm going back I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours I gave you all that you asked of me You like the view from behind But you won't make an ass of me That's why I'm saying goodbye Hopping out my feelings, get to the money 
Gotta keep it a hundred. Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me. <laughs> so going to the next club. <laughs> The place we left is just oh, yeah. called Sundowner. Now we are going to another place. It's Saturday. There is, this is Kigali nightlife. It's so chill still. <laughs> you Kigali. That one keeps on coming in and out for me. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Don't come looking for me. I'm that bitch and I have it. Forgot, but I have it. You was just a no habit, so I'ma disappear like magic. I'm that bitch and I have it. You forgot, but I have it. Now you wish that you had it. But all I gotta say back is if I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. When I love you, I lose me. No, I can't be attached to you. No more. Guys, it's 4 a.m. The club is 
So this is where all the rich people come, <laughs> actually. You people have been saying like Kigali is, uh, is chill, it's not like popping, but you actually have to know where the party is. When it's empty, we fill it in with this one. Are you South African? Yeah, ah, run these. <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound South African? Very South African. Very, really? very yes. Man. That's a first. Very South African. <laughs> wow. I took that as a compliment. I love that. I do not African. love the accent. If she looks like her, right? Yeah. Hi. From um, just Rwanda in general. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate you couldn't see everything and stay That that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I wasn't yours I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back I'm going, I'm going back So guys, this is Eagle View Hotel. It has three bedrooms and a kitchen and a living area. It's another place you can stay in Kigali. And a very nice view. I'm going to the festival right now. This is my outfit. Oh! So guys, we are going to Gorokoka Music Festival. It's a local festival and it's one hour away from Kigali. So we're in the bus shuttle right now. Uh, let's go. Gotta keep it a hundred, leaving you ain't really took nothing from me. So don't come looking for me. I'm that bitch and I have it. For Guys, this is our first time seeing oranges, orange plants. Thank you. First time picking orange from a tree. And 
We are in Bugasara. It took like two hours drive to here from Kigali. Yeah, but I have it. You was just a no habit. So I'ma disappear like magic. I'm that bitch and I have it. You forgot, but I have it. Now you wish that you had it. But all I gotta say back is if I gotta choose me, yeah. I won't be afraid yeah. to. Yeah. Yes, we've arrived at Mohansi Lake. So, this is the local concert. You can see they're setting up the stage there. And then food and drinks are here. See, like he gets his water from the lake for irrigation. You can see the pipes. Oh. Jackfruit, oh, guys. Huh? Guys, <laughs> these kids are following me. <laughs> Yeah, they got potatoes like, like always. Mm -hmm. They got uh, fried fish. Yeah. Is this roasted plantains? No. This whole plate is this whole plate is two thousand. Uh, run this far. Oh, I want to grow fish by soda. How much is it? No, Let's try that. Okay, it's up. I've been going through it. I done seen a lot, been feeling stuck. And I got most of the things I've always ever wanted. I've been lied to. Yeah, ain't gonna lie, cause I've been lying to. To myself, I'm only human. I've seen hope. I've been up and down and learning how to cope. Not showing the ropes. I've been down and out until I learned to float. And I said, Thank you. Festival is a festival
it's up I've been going through it I done seen a lot Been feeling stuck And I got most of the things I've always ever wanted I've been lied to Yeah Ain't gonna lie Cause I've been lying to To myself I'm only human I've seen hope I've been up and down And learning how to cope Not showing the ropes I've been down and out Until I learned to float And I've seen pride too Yeah Ain't gonna lie man I've been prideful But barely proud enough to show it, uh Growing through it My homies used to be so close That if you got into it Multiplication is being thrown All the hands in Never had questions Couldn't be answered Had lifelines Thought we'd be millionaires in this lifetime But white lines at nighttime Tried to demolish it I thought that they moved smarter But wanted faster accomplishments Cause blue collar Plus college is total opposite Of blue dollars And popping bottles For moving pounds and shit The chosen ones Man, we all thought it'd be us I heard about the friends you lose just after high school be up But this is teen shit, the people I trust and people I dream with Who would have thought that growing up meant only chasing green shit The demons, they be on a different type of time I just ran into homie, told he wish he had a life like mine He just got out of county with a plan, he said trap or die My only wish is that you go legit after you get the shine It's up, I've been going through it, I done seen a lot, been feeling stuck <laughs> Yeah. 
We love Rwanda, <laughs> Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. <laughs> like uh, the, that's the Rwandan dance. No, I mean like the name. The blonde Yeah. Mm. Because it had no spices. If you want spices. as for African. Mm -hmm. No. At some point they made it easy, yeah. then they, they stopped it. Thank you. Okay. 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 What's that? Soma? <laughs> Eggplant? No. Aubergine? Okay. Why? I, 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 no, I she doesn't like it. Oh <laughs> but you can test it on... See? No, come on. Merci. 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 Hi guys, please try. <laughs> she wants you guys to try. Try what? Y'all try whatever, because I want to try it. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. okay, let's do. Yeah, I know myself. <laughs> I was telling her like you need to to to, to bring like a card because I'm saying yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's a special one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. Excuse her three thousand or whatever. Yeah. Else yeah. Else. yeah. Oh, 